What's happening, everybody? Steve Looney back for episode number 22 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over, very simply, the eraser and the knife tool. Now, these tools are so useful when you're creating, you know, icons with logo designs or just any other vector shapes that you're working with. So let me jump up into here into just a regular circular shape that I have put on the screen. And I'm basically going to make it look like what's down here. But before I do that, I'm obviously going to introduce you to the tools. So coming up here, you're going to see the eraser tool, which is shift plus E on the keyboard. If you hold down, you're going to see the scissors and the knife tool. The scissors are actually very simple, so you can kind of play along with them uh, with clicking along line segments. But we're going to actually pull these tools out. All right. And first, we're going to start with the eraser. Basically, what the eraser does is you can erase parts of your vector object by simply just cutting right across them. You can hold shift while you do this, or you can let go of shift and you can do all types of cool things. And as you let go, you're going to see as I hover over and now we have all these new points in here. Okay. When it comes to the eraser tool, you're going to see the crosshairs, but then you're going to see a circle behind it. Now that is going to be the size of the actual eraser. So if you want to make that eraser smaller or larger, you're going to do the close bracket on your keyboard or the open bracket to make it larger. Okay. So right now we're just going to have like a, an eraser just like this, and we're just going to click and we're going to cut this out. And we're going to go through the entire thing. The reason we're going to go through it is because now if we hit any of our selection arrows, we can move this piece away. So it's kind of like a really fast version of using the pathfinder tools that I use in all of my videos pretty much. So in my uh, design, my uh, layout design videos. So if we back up a second and we come into the knife tool, basically the knife tool does a very similar thing, but it, you're going to notice that, you know, when you, Pull this around, it's gonna do a lot of your curves for you. Uh, if you hold shift, it actually doesn't change it up at all. So you can do something cool and funky, and you're gonna notice that it doesn't actually cut out of the piece initially, okay? It just made, you know, lines. So if I click off of this, you're gonna see the lines in there, and we can move the shapes apart, all right? So this, these two tools are really gonna be really cool when it comes to you doing like, you know, an abstract logo, uh, you know, symbol for, for a brand that you're designing for. So um, what we're going to do is lastly, we're going to come into here and I'm going to do basically the shape that I did on my little icon. And it's really depicting a beach. All right. Beach scenery or just earth in general. So we're going to come here. All right. We're going to cut out the sky. All right. Now we're going to cut out the actual waves, but we're going to make this a little bit smaller. I hope holding small bracket down, keep hitting it. But we're just going to do this all right and then lastly the land all right i don't know why i did that funky shape but it, i figured it worked so now we're going to click on one we're just going to fill it with a color we'll fill it with the blue we'll fill it with this and we're going to fill it with green all right so that quickly i was able to make a really cool vector shape and now you have all these points that you can work with on this shape so you can pull them out you can come in here, take individualized points, do whatever you want now. Now you have your cool shape by using the eraser and the knife tool. So thanks for joining me for this quick video. Let me know in the comments below how much you love this series and what you learned in this video. Obviously, there's only one or two things to learn. But um, let me know your thoughts on this tool if you have any other um, suggestions about it or suggestions for future tutorial videos. I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a great night. Peace.